Hello, Willard students. Um, I don't know if you're feeling like I am about this unexpected long break, but I'm just about finished with it. I'm ready to be back at school, um, a place that I love, and seeing all of you and sharing music and laughter and some craziness that happens along the way um, in high school. So um, I'm gonna be sending some videos um, in the coming days, things that I have read over the years to choirs. And um, tonight's the first one. I'm um, gonna be reading to you from Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Album. I don't know if some of you have read this book or not. Um, if you're not a reader, it's available on CD, probably available on um, online somewhere that you can just listen. But I would encourage you to read this. So Maury is Mitch Album's college professor. And um, Mitch has graduated and he finds out that his college professor, Maury, is dying. And he has just months to live. And so he meets with him every Tuesday and they have their final lessons talking about life and what's important. And so already you can tell that this is a book that will be rich um, with thoughts, ideas, philosophies about how to live. So here's the first one and it's short. Um, the new year came and went, although he never said it to anyone, Maury knew this would be the last year of his life. He was using a wheelchair now and he was fighting time to say all the things he wanted to say to all the people he loved. When a colleague at Brandeis died suddenly of a heart attack, Maury went to his funeral. He came back home depressed. What a waste, he said, all those people saying all those wonderful things, and Irv never got to hear any of it. Maury had a better idea. He made some calls, he chose a date, and on a cold Saturday afternoon, he was joined in his home by a small group of friends and family for a living funeral. Each of them spoke and paid tribute to my old professor. Some cried, some laughed. One woman read a poem. Maury cried and laughed with them and all the heartfelt things we never get to say to those we love, Maury said that day and his friends said all of those things in their hearts to Maury. His living funeral was a rousing success. So one of the things that I love that we do in choir is um, what I like about you, what I like about you, what I like about you, or I see you, or naming, you know, sterling character traits that you see in people in choir. I love hearing those. I'm so encouraged by them. Um, what I've called it various different things, including tell me something good. So with the thought of this living funeral, which might seem like an odd thought, or maybe it doesn't seem like an odd thought when you think about what's going on in our world, people who are passing away, um, people who are sick, people who are afraid, but I want to encourage you to um, let people know what you think about them what you see good in them, their sterling qualities. Um, and I wanna encourage you to let them know that, to reach out, whether through a text message, Facebook message, Instagram message, maybe a handwritten letter, um, I, uh, maybe a recording that you make on your phone and you send it to them where they can hear your voice with all the inflection and the uh, care that you carry in your heart for them. So, my Willard students, I miss you, and I can't wait to see you again, and let me encourage you to reach out to all those people in your life who have invested in you and care for you. All right, take care, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.